Cassidy Animator. Where anything is possible. Hello to all the muggles out there, outside of Hogwarts. My name is Harry Potter. Today I will be creating a Polyjuice Potion. My good friends Hermione Granger and Ronald Weasley are in detention. So using this Polyjuice Potion, I will turn into one of the professors at Hogwarts and pretend to be them and get them out of detention early. As Ronald Weasley can't afford to get in any more detention, as one more after that could get him expelled from school. And Hermione Granger has a ton of homework to get done. So let's get started. The first thing I will be putting into this concoction is lacewing flies. This, my fellow muggles, is what lacewing flies look like. They look like this because they are dead and boiled. The next thing that this concoction needs is leeches. Some disgusting, bloody, slimy leeches. These are the leeches right here, just soaking in blood that they sucked from humans, which are the muggles. We will be using this today in our concoction. The next thing we will need for this polyjuice concoction is knot grass. This is what the knot grass looks like. Our herbology teacher, Professor Sprout, taught us how to, how to grow it and pick it properly. In it goes. And now, my fellow muggles, the next thing we need is fluxweed. Fluxweed can only be picked on a full moon. If it's not picked at a full moon, then it will not work. Here is the lovely fluxweed that was picked at a full moon. And it goes. And the next item that we will need is boom slang skin. This is what it, it looks like. This is what boom slang skin looks like. This is gonna be some nasty concoction, but I'll do it for my best friends. Oops. Okay, muggles. And the most important thing for this polyjuice potion is hair from the person you want to turn into. As you can see right here, I've taken some hair from Professor Snape because let's face it, I hate him. It was hard to get Professor Snape's hair, but luckily with the help of Hermione's Granger, she taught me how to put him to sleep with a potion. So that sure came in handy. Hmm. I'm not sure if I have enough hair. I better get up and, and get a little bit more. Be right back. Did you guys see that? I have a feeling that I saw a little glimpse of Vold. He who shall not be named. 
fly out the window. You don't think... Oh, honestly, I don't have time for such nonsense. I must finish this polyjuice potion. It was probably the wind, or my eyes were playing tricks on me. I really need to get more sleep. Anyway, here is Professor Snape's hair. Turns out I read up on a book over there that a little bit will go a long way. So, into the concoction it goes. And this is what I have so far. It's Professor Snape's hair and all. Now, for the final ingredient. This polyjuice potion needs powdered bicorn horn. Here is the bicorn horn. Here is my tongs. And here, my muggles, is a piece of the powdered bicorn horn. And there it is, my fellow muggles. And now, we shall mix it up. Even though this is going to taste rather putrid, this is rather fun, making this potion. This is what the potion looks like so far, but we're not done yet. Now it's time for the wand treatment. Here is my wand, and now let's make some magic happen. Okay, fellow muggles, I think we are done. And now, my muggles, is the moment we've been waiting for. It is now time to drink the polyjuice potion. I don't feel much of a change though, except my hit, my face feels a little furry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Oh my god. That wasn't Professor Snape hair, that was cat hair. Voldemort! <laughs> oh my gosh, I gotta get to Madame Pomfrey's office. I gotta get to the nurse. Madame Pomfrey! Harry Potter, what happened to you? Uh, yeah. Funny story, you see. You created a polyjuice potion, didn't you? H how did how did you? No, I, I mean, n no, no, I didn't do anything like that. Fifty points what? from Gryffindor, young no, man. No, no, you can't do this, please. Don't please. you tell me what I cannot do, Potter. <laughs> okay, well, I just lost fifty points from Gryffindor. The punishment is pretty brutal, so I'm gonna go and face it. So, thank you, thank you, Muggles, for watching, and don't do what I did. Okay, bye. Hey, Castinators! Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss any tail wagging fun. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook, where you'll never miss an update and be able to see my art life behind the scenes. And if you like reading fictional stories then follow me on Wattpad where you'll get to check out my passions in writing. See you in the next video!